In this Microsoft Word tutorial, I want to show you how to organize your Word documents by using the navigation pane that's in Microsoft Word. And you can see here I have a document, an 11-page document, and it's divided up into sections. Now the way I did that was by using this heading style. Headings can be really useful in several different ways. And so, especially with larger documents, I highly recommend that you use headings. But let's say I would like to maybe change how I've organized this document. Maybe section three really should be higher up or lower down in this document. How could I easily change the organization of this Word document? I could highlight, cut, and paste, and try to put paragraphs and headings and sections where I want them to actually go. But that can get a little messy. So let's look at another option. What you can do is go here to the View tab, and on the View ribbon in the Show group, there's an option for the Navigation pane. There are other ways to get to the Navigation pane. For example, Control F gets you there, and there are other ways too. But I'll just check this box. It opens up the Navigation pane. And now I can search my document and then look at Headings, Pages, and Results. So for example, I want to search to see how many times the word matrix is used in this document. So I search for matrix and it gives me results. Section 3 uses the word matrix. Looks like page 4, section 2 also does. And another case in section 3. Now if I click on those, it moves to and highlights those examples. So I can quickly jump to see how that word is used and where it's used. Now that's just plain results. What if I'm searching pages? If I search for matrix, it shows me the pages that have the word matrix in them. So there are three pages that have the word matrix on them. And I can also click on headings, and it will show me the headings, or in this case, I used the word sections, that have the word matrix as part of them. This one doesn't seem to, but if you click on it, you can see that these examples of the word matrix, they are actually part of section two. And so it's still listed in the results for headings. Now there's a little known option that's hidden just to the right of the search box. So you can see I do have an X to get rid of the word matrix, but just to the right of that, there's a little tiny arrow. I almost can't see it, it's so small. But if you click on that, you can specify that you're searching for maybe not words, but graphics. Maybe you're searching for tables, or equations, or footnotes, or comments. And so it doesn't have to be just headings, pages, and individual words that come up as results. You can search for these other kinds of things too. There's also options for your navigation search. You can check those out and change them if you'd like. There's also an advanced find, and there's some great options there as well. And I covered some of these options in another Word video that I made on the topic of find and replace. So check that out if you'd like to learn more about this. But I'm going to X out of that. So in addition to those powerful options that are here, that are kind of hidden, I want to show you how easy it is to change the actual organization of your document. Let's say I would like the matrix weighting definitions to be section 2 instead of section 3. All I have to do is click on it here in the navigation pane on the headings tab, and then click and drag and drop that into section 2. If I want to, I can move section 1 down and make it section 3. Now you'll notice, because I set up my headings the way I did, where I said section 1, section 2, section 3, even though I've switched section 3 to be my second heading, it still says section 3. So I would have to go in and click to change that to section 2. But let's look and see if it really did move what used to be my third heading, my third section. It was at the bottom of this document and I'll see if it moved it up to the second position, and it did. So simply by adding headings, and in my case I use those for sections, but it could be chapter one, chapter two, it could be part one, part two, part three, and you don't even have to use numbering if you don't want to. But anyway, just by setting up this document with headings, and then going to the navigation pane and the headings tab, it listed all those headings, and then I could click and drag to reorder them and move the actual content in that heading. This is a great, very powerful feature in Microsoft Word, especially for those of us that write very long documents. If you're writing a novel, if you're writing a book, if you're writing a master's thesis or something like that that's 20 pages or a couple hundred pages or a thousand pages, it's very powerful 
very useful to be able to organize your Word documents using the navigation pane and the list of headings that you have in your document. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, consider clicking the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.